In this video, we will start with further trigonometry and we will focus on the cosecant, secant and cotangent groups. You will find this on page 437 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at, at the cosecant, the secant and the cotangent groups. You have already learned about the ratios cosecant, cosec, secant, sec, and cotangent cot in chapter 4. Okay, can you recall? Cosec was the third letter S, so it's 1 over sin theta. Sec, third letter is C, so it's 1 over cos theta. Uh, cot, third letter T, so it's 1 over tan theta. Now, we will look at their graphs. The functions cosecant, secant, and cotangent are the reciprocals of the sine, cosine, and tangent functions. For example, whenever the sine is zero, and just to explain it, I'm just going to use this graph so that the theory makes sense. Okay. So let's start. Whenever the sine is zero, the cosecant will be undefined. So there will be a vertical asymptote. Do you see? There is zero. Can I just show you? There is zero, there is zero. So there, for this is the cos, the sec. So there, it will be an asymptote. Do you see that? Okay, let's go on. Whenever sine reaches its, its maximum value of one, so if it reaches its maximum value of one, okay, maximum value, cosecant will reach its minimum value of one. So do you see? That there's a minimum because it's, this is the graph. It goes up, so it's a minimum there, and it's a minimum when it's at the maximum. Okay, we go on. Whenever sine reaches its minimum value of negative 1, cosec or sec will reach its maximum value of negative 1. So at negative, there's the minimum. Do you see? And then cosec will reach its maximum. Do you see the graph? And there's the maximum. Okay. Um, of name. Whenever sign is positive but less than 1, so that means positive but less than 1, positive but less than 1, okay, uh, cosec will, will be positive but greater than 1, so do you see, it's also positive but it's greater, it's going up, this was going down, this is greater, okay, whenever sign is negative but greater than negative 1, there it's, there it's negative, under the x-axis and greater than negative 1 cos um, or sec uh, will be negative but less than negative 1. So it will be there, do you see it's negative, it's going down and there is the maximum point actually at negative 1. These same principles can be applied for the secant and the cotangent functions. But let's look at the graph. There I just explained this graph a little bit. Okay, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Did you see better? Okay, let's start. Sketch the function y equals sec x for the intervals for, uh, from this um, 0 to 360. The functions y equals cos x is 0 when x... Okay, you know that basic graph already. You have to know it by now. Okay, so this is the basic graph. This means that y is not defined at each of these points. Because you can, 1 divided by 0 is not defined. Hence, vertical asymptotes need to be drawn. So there where you see it's 0, you can already draw your vertical asymptotes. Okay. Now, lightly draw the cosine graph. That's how I do it. Just lightly. Then draw the vertical asymptotes through the 0 and mark the minimum and the maximum points. Okay. So there's the vertical asymptotes. Now, before we mark, okay, so this is the maximum points and this is the minimum points. I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it with another color. So this is the maximum and this is the minimum. Okay. For cos x bigger than zero, that, that means above the x-axis, the C curve strives upwards from the a maximum point of cost towards the asymptote. So it goes up and it goes up. Okay, so towards the asymptote. That, so that is the two that you can draw now. 
And then for it's smaller than zero below the, the x-axis, this, the z curve stripes downwards from the minimum point. This is the minimum point of the towards the asymptote. So it goes to this side and it goes to this side. No, um, it's a graph of a U. So, so it's like a U and, and because it will, don't forget, and you can even go and use your, um, your symbol lab and see the graph. Remember, it will go on. You, you follow. It's not stopping there. Okay. And then there will be an asymptote again. And then it will go on. So, so that is why they say it's growth of use, use. And again, it's fixed. So this is for 0 to 360. If it's a 1 and a 1, this will always look like this if it's a sig function. So again, memorize the basic shapes. Okay. Um, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay. I want you to draw. Now, this is more or less the same. It's now you can use exactly the same, but now it's the cosec. So you're going to work with the sin graph. Okay. So. I'm just going to first, the functions y is 0 when, so let's first start with the, okay, let's just go. Uh, I'm first going to start, uh, likely draw the sine graph now. Again, I'm going to use um, shapes, otherwise I'll go to the next page. Um, I'm going to make it a bit smaller, and I have a little bit of space. There it is. And then I'm going to give myself a grid. So please work on one centimeter blocks. Otherwise, it's not going to be up, up to scale. Remember, it's 0 to 360. So I'm just going to take a color there. It doesn't matter what. And I'm just going to indicate. And yeah, I have straight lines. I use a ruler and a ruler. Okay. Now, I'm first going to do, um, I'm going, first going to mark, mark it. So remember, this is going to be 0. Okay, so let's make this 90. Then we can make this 180. Then we can make this 270. And then we can make this 360. Okay, that will be your first. Okay. And then at least make it 4. Okay, no, no, I'm going to make it 2 because that graph is always going up. So I think this will be better. One, and let's just go a little bit better, negative one. Okay, now remember slightly, so that you just have the shape. So how is the sin graph? Can you still remember the sin graph? You can actually mark it. Um, of course, I want to just draw it slightly, and I want to focus on the other one. Okay, let's, let's make it in, um, in green. Okay, so can you remember the sin? The sin is always going to be there, a maximum, and then it's going to go through there, and it starts there, and then it's going a maximum again there, a oh, minimum, sorry, and there. So this is the sin. So if I must draw it, do it with a pencil, or just lightly indicate, okay, and then, oh, let me just go a little bit. Okay. Okay. There is that. This is y is equal to sin x. You can just mark it. Okay. Now, we follow exactly the same principles. Okay. So, where is the sin graph zero? It's there. So, basic and it's also there. So, I can already go and draw this will be my asymptote. This is my asymptotes. Okay. And now, I'm going to start. I'm going to say, so, my asymptotes is going to be at 180 and 360. The function is, is zero when, uh, it, it's actually here also. Don't forget, it's also here. Okay. So, because it's at zero, 180 and 360. This means that y is not defined at each of these points. Okay, because it's inch verticals need to be drawn at each of that point. And then, okay, I'm going to just take you to the previous page. Previous. 
Draw a vertical as okay, we for x bigger than uh, um, cos. Okay, this will now sin x bigger than zero. The curve strives upwards. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to go. Okay, so here when it's going to do this maximum point, the curve and what color can I use now? Yellow. The curve. Remember, this is an asymptote, so it's striving. Oh, and I have still a ruler. Sorry. It's striving to that. And then it's making its turn there. And it's again striving to that. Okay. And then this one is actually very nice because you don't sit with halves. And then this one is doing exactly. There where it's at the minimum, it's striving to this. And just get that correct. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's striving to this. Okay. Maybe a little bit down. And that's how you do. So this one is actually in this. Don't forget. What is it? It's y equals cosec x. So cosec is actually very nice because it's having two u's. Whereby, if you can remember the previous one, it's like having a half a full one and another half. Okay, again, just as you memorize this one, you can memorize the sec one for zero, and you can also memorize the cosec one, having now the two full use. And that's how you do it.